Hello guys, this video I'm gonna give you a very simple but powerful technique for really upgrading the designs. And I think it's something you really should learn, and it's something very quick and simple, and you won't really believe how easy it is and how it can really make your designs look much sleeker, more aggressive, and more exciting. And real quick guys, if you want to learn this awesome new program called Plasticity, I've got a course for you in the description, it's the first link there. And it's got a lot of awesome content, guys. It's got over 42 hours of educational content. It's got a tree cutting mix, it's got a police robots, uh, Omega, uh, SMGs, Cyborg Ninjas, and much more. So be sure to check that out. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start with a plane. And I'll go ahead and center it and just apply the poly. And um, just go ahead and uh, rotate it maybe and uh, scale it. And let's go ahead and just, you know, make it a little bit more complex. And I'll go ahead and apply symmetry. And we're going to go ahead and uh, turbo smooth. And I send this play. Alright guys, what's the technique? Well, it's very simple. You select faces, you rotate them, you move them, and you scale them. Now here's the thing guys, when you first start modeling with polygons, you know, there is there is kind of a, a tendency just to kind of, uh, you know, just do a bunch of stuff. Just to do a bunch of like, um, you know, this kind of thing, and you kind of kind of extrude and just kind of wonder well, how do I get good cool details like everyone else is making cool details and then people are using ZBrush and plasticity and all these things and like all I'm getting is just really basic blocky designs well if you want your design to look sleeker guys um let's see how simple this is for us so I'll, I'll go and select this and I'll just go ahead and like rotate this all right and then I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll press spacebar to activate show and result now you may think, you know, it looks strange, but that's the thing. Once you do that, then you work with this, guys, and you come up with cool designs. Now after doing that, it can move this with our edge constraints, and then move that with edge constraints. And then I can go ahead and, um, you know, inset, and then go ahead and uh, extrude, and uh, also scale, and, you know, do that right there. And like, uh, already, guys, look at this, I have something really cool happening here. Now the trick then is that after you've done that, you know, on a new edit modifier, you then kind of work with this further. For example, I can go ahead and kind of straighten this out. Okay. Go ahead and reapply a symmetry. And like uh, like this right here, I can kind of cut from there to here. And and then I can select that and straighten it. All right, and then I can and maybe inset that right there. So you can see how we start to kind of work and kind of, I like to call this guys, I like to refer to this as like um, massaging your polygons. You know, when you use ZBrush, for example, you can, very, you, know, you can pinch things, flatten things out. But if you learn how to do this with polygons, you will really uh, upgrade the way you work with polygons. Straightening things out, removing edges. Uh, cutting. Like right here. I'm gonna, um, I like to use a make planer a lot, make planer. So once again, guys, you know, make planer and rotate. Hinge from edge, perhaps. And you guys notice we're just getting really cool things happening here, like really cool designs. Now, if you want to make this more powerful, guys, you can go ahead and use a data channel. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and uh, activate data channel. I'm going to go ahead and use uh, auto edge crease widths. Apply that. Turn off uh, enable display for scale. Maybe do like uh, point point one. 
or maybe we'll do one here. We'll do maybe one um one open sub div and then one Taros move. So this is uh without data channel, this with data channel it just kinda sharpens things up. We can even do two here, just to make it really sharp here. Now let's uh, let's uh, do the same thing here. We're gonna go ahead and now uh, rotate, make planar. Well, you guys, look at look at how cool designs happen by just kind of rotating. I mean. Uh, a lot of people, guys, they just kind of, uh, I mean, look at this, guys, that's really cool, like, and then, like, after you have something happening here, you can, like, further, like, you know, do a cut here, or, 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 you know, crease that. I mean, guys, just by doing this, you're just getting automatically cool designs. Like, look, look at what's happening here, guys, just by doing that, like, if you wonder how to get really cool sleek designs, guys, this is the technique right here for you. You know, a lot of times people will like will think, well, polygons are difficult to work with. I, I need to go with ZBrush or 3D Coat or something like that. And yeah, those programs are powerful, guys, but like, don't underestimate polygons, guys. Don't underestimate polygons. After doing that, I like to go ahead and kind of repaste those modifiers back here. So, I mean, guys, you get some ridiculously cool designs just by doing this. I like to, uh, to prevent this from happening, guys, I like to apply a smooth modifier that kind of get rid of, gets rid of all smoothing groups here and kind of fixes things up.
Alright guys, so this is going to be a very powerful technique for you guys. And you're going to be able to create really sleek, uh, hard surface mechanical designs and just many things. So go ahead and practice it. In the future videos, I maybe have like a modeling exercise where I go ahead and use this to create some other things. So thank you for watching and take care.